Well, here's the newly fangled Super MTA with new skins on it. And now that they're on there, I can get a better look as to what percent tread they are. And man, they could be 90. They could be 90. These are actually dual rims. They're fine. They'll work for now uh, if I ever change them. They do work. Um, yeah, are, are they perfect? No, they're not. But the skins are. And they'll last me a lifetime and somebody else about half a lifetime. And I took the old ones off here and put them on there. And those are the Firestone Field and Roads as well. Just that they are road well. Um, I don't know. Am I going to regret taking the rice and canes off there? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, a lot of weather checking, a lot of dry rotting, a lot of this nonsense going on. Um, they're just an old tire. They're a good old tire. Don't get me wrong. I mean, they served me probably, I don't know, five, six, seven years very well in years and years and years of service to the previous owner. But I don't know. I just, for what this tractor is really going to be used for, pulling a 510 grain drill around, these are fine. And these should last me quite a while. This rim over here was just, I mean, you can see the rust flakes here. And probably, truth be known, I probably should have put a new rim on there. Or at least had this sandblasted and, and redone, but... We'll see. I, I think getting the calcium out of these, these are no longer loaded as they were before. I think getting the calcium out of them will help quite a bit. But yeah, that's just something that I make a mental note of is that rim's kind of on the iffy side. I don't know. I don't think it looks bad. It doesn't look any worse. I mean, it had 15 fives on there. I essentially just put the 15 fives back on except Firestone in a little less weather checking. Uh, these seem like they would be good pulling skins because they're, uh, you know, 25, 30%. And again, they'll be fine for pulling a 510 grain drill around planting soybeans, so. Yeah, that's the skin update. It's really the last thing I wanted to do to this tractor. Um, this one here is going to get some love and I've got two new 6516s that I'll put on here and just be done with it. There you go. It's set up the way I want it set up. And I don't know if you followed the, the mini series along. You know what I've done to it. And not saying I'll never have to do anything to it again, but it's it's set up pretty well. You guys doing? Go lay an egg. Except for you. Actually, these are the ones that come off the, the M, and you can see the rust and crap. That got new tubes as well, but let me pull these off of here rather quickly. That tube ain't that bad. But anyways, this one here, yeah, there it is. The 16.9, And what happens is you get... You get creasing, um, you know, it it kinks inside the the rim and underneath the tire because it doesn't. And I'm not criticizing anybody for not having the money to go out and buy new tubes, but yeah, that, that's that is what happens if you think you're going to run bigger tubes on a smaller tire. That took place the creasing and the kinking and the yeah, I mean. There were the these have laid here a while but they kinked for sure know, somebody put a patch on that i don't know but either either they garbage especially that one now i am going to give you the results of the auction on saturday especially want to give you the results of that 1466 you're going to see it sell here in a minute also, there was a Case IH tractor. I'm not sure exactly what model. Uh, Chad was using it to move the feed mixer. And I, I didn't really get a good look at it. But you're going to get a good look at it here as it sells. And you'll also find out what the 70 sold for. I like that 70. Another thing, too, is that, you know, I've been going to a lot of auctions for a few years now. And I've kind of got the prices where they should be zeroed in 
Let's see what I said about that 1466 before it sold as to what I think it'll sell for. Well, I was going to torture you and make you wait, but 1466, clean, clean, clean. We got uh, Firestone's 18438s, 23 degree. Um, I don't know the hours. Regulators mount up hours. Oh man, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on for me to see, but yeah, you can see it. They had a field day here, I guess last week or something. I would have loved to have been here for, but I didn't know about it. Um, this is a nice machine. I'd tell you probably 10, 12 years ago, this machine bring 15,000 all day long. Uh, not now, we're looking at 20 plus. Would I be surprised if it went 25,000? No, not really. I would be, however, surprised if it went under 20,000. And if you stole this tractor, you'd probably steal it for about 18 grand. That would be a whale of a deal. The, the duels there, the clamp-on duels. I don't know if they're selling separate. Usually they do. But yeah, here you go. Turbo. 
Cobra half and fifteen thousand, Cobra half and fifteen, fifteen, Cobra half, fifteen, the different of a team, Cobra half, fifteen thousand, fifteen, the different of a team, Cobra half, fifteen thousand, fifteen, the different of a team, Cobra half, fifteen thousand, Cobra half, fifteen and a half, give thirteen and a half, Cobra half, thirteen and a half, thirteen and a half, thirteen and a half, half, thirteen and a half, thirteen and a half, fourteen 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 and a half, fourteen